all new tonight here at 6 o'clock, we're speaking with this farmer in Billerica who is refusing to pay $300,000 that he owes in taxes. The city tells us he hasn't paid taxes since back in 2017. And tonight he tells WBZ's Mike Sullivan why. My father came here in 1943. Five years later, he had a boy. I'm William Greggs, Greggs Farm. Ever since that day, this Bill Ricker farm has remained in their family. The whole property is under agricultural preservation rights. The land pumping out vegetables. These are ornamental cabbage. Along with rows of flowers. A lot of people line their steps with them. But despite the beauty you see here. About five years ago. Griggs stopped paying taxes on the land. I want to know what I'm being taxed for. The town says his land is assessed at $1.2 million, but he believes that to be inflated, saying it's only a few hundred dollars an acre on agricultural assessment. You can't sell it for that with the APR rights. Currently, the town taxes just over 16 acres as agricultural land with the retail space as commercial. I do not have a breakdown. I just have a grand total. He owes $300,000 in back taxes. What they want is just unsustainable. So this is the first time we've raised our prices in 10 years. Supply chain issues on parts cost them six weeks without a tractor while the drought. It affects the uh, retail. Good afternoon. Anything I can help you find? Who wants to buy a plant now and plant it and have to water it? Then there's the pest problems. This chewed up tubing is the result of coyotes. They come for the geese, then chew up the water lines. I don't think it's feasible. They want me to pay the whole th a payment plan on the whole thing. The town also believes Griggs Farm is selling imported flowers and produce to make up for their lost crops. What you see in containers here are basically rooted cuttings or seeds started on premise. It appears they are growing on borrowed time. In Bill Ricca, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.